Hey, today's topic is new home sales construction and why it's important to have a realtor represent you. Hi, this is Brian Lessinger with the Lessinger team here at Remax Realty Affiliates and we work in Northern Nevada. We wanted to welcome you to our video blog and real quick before we get into today's topic, we just wanted to remind you of a couple links. So if you're looking for either a free home value report or the latest information on buying a home, just click on the links to the right. We'd be happy to get you whatever information you need. All right, so today's topic, new home sales construction and why it's important to have a realtor represent you. But even before that, I always think the best thing to do if you're thinking about buying a home is to contact your real estate professional, sit down, have that 30 to 60 minute um, buyer consultation meeting is what I call it, in person with all the people involved that's gonna make that decision on whether to buy new construction or an existing home. So it's an important thing to decide on first. Once you've made that decision, and if you are gonna buy new construction, we wanna sit down and decide on what new home sales subdivisions we wanna look at. And once we do that, we should all go there together. We can get you registered with us, so then that way we are able to represent you and guide you through the process of buying new, a new home house. With that being said, you have to remember, when you go to that new home sales subdivision, that sales agent representing or working for the builder does work for the builder, and they're gonna have the builder's best interest at heart, and they're gonna protect their job and protect their builder. So when you go there, you just have to know that. Um, when you buy new home sales, the contracts are a little bit different. They are a little bit one-sided, again, trying to protect themselves. There are some additional disclosures and other information that the builders will use that are just a little different than resale. And again, I bought three brand new homes myself and we've seen those contracts and paperwork before. So we're able to guide you through that process. And so that's an important thing to know about as well. Um, and then once you do go start looking at the houses, they always say, you know, starting in the 300s, starting in the 600s, which is all great. They give you that starting point. But in reality, obviously the home's gonna be more expensive than that. So some costs that people aren't sometimes aware of would be things such as um, a lot premium. So a lot premiums, depending on the size of the lot, the location of the lot, does it have a view or not. Some subdivisions for starter homes might be five or ten thousand dollars. I've seen people be charged up to fifty thousand dollars, and those are things down the road when you go to sell your house, it's hard to recoup um, that money. So it's just a cost you need to be aware of. Some other costs that are involved that sometimes people forget and don't think about is typically blinds and shades or things that you have to pay for after the fact. Um, rear yard landscaping, patios, decks grass, landscaping, sprinklers. There's lots of things that you pay for after the fact. And again, it's just something you need to be aware of that those are costs that sometimes people aren't thinking about. So, you know, there's just lots of steps involved. Um, the timing, how long it might take from when we decide to buy to when the house is completed. So there are just a lot of questions, things that people don't always think about. And what we'd like to do is sit down with you, have that buyer consultation meeting, discuss all the pros and cons of buying new construction, and then that way you'll be prepared and we can just guide you through that process. So again, we'd like to thank you for watching our video blog. If there's any information that you need, by all means, contact us, click on the links above, or just give us a phone call. We'd be happy to help you out. Hopefully you'll watch some of our videos in the future and we look forward to hearing from you. We'd be happy to help you out. Have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.